Good morning, and the Lord be with you. My name is Dan Colgan, and I am the organist and music guy here at Gloria Day Lutheran Church in Olympia, Washington. Welcome to week six of my devotions from the organ bench. Today is Saturday, April 25th, 2020. The hymn I'd like to look at today is found in our ELW on number 376, Thine is the Glory. This was the closing hymn that we used in worship this past Sunday. This is perhaps a hymn where the tune is more well known than the text. Written by Handel, it comes from his oratorio Judas Maccabeus. If and when people first notice the name of this, they often think of Judas Iscariot, the traitor, the apostle. And they say, why are we singing something about Judas on Easter? Well, that would be the wrong Judas. Judas Iscariot and Judas Maccabeus are indeed two entirely different people. But let me back up. As I mentioned, this comes from oratorio. You probably have heard that word oratorio thrown around a bit when talking about classical music. An oratorio is defined essentially as an unstaged church opera. In other words, oratorios have all the drama, the soloists, and the orchestration of an opera, but without staging, costume, or props. They're usually based around religious or biblical themes. Famous examples of oratorios are, of course, Handel's Messiah, Haydn's Creation, Mendelssohn's Elijah, and, and so on. Handel wrote 25 oratorios in his lifetime. The one that this comes from, Judas Maccabeus, comes in chapters 2 through 8 of the book of 1 Maccabees. Both Maccabees 1 and 2 are found in the Apocrypha, which are some of the books that were added later to the Bible. You may recognize the Maccabee family name from the story of the miracle of Hanukkah. The oratorio Judas Maccabeus takes place a bit before that, though, around 170 BC. The story tells of an evil empire seeking to destroy the Jewish religion. The main character, Judas, rallies his fellow people, forms an army who tear down pagan altars, and he reminds the Jewish people of the power of Jehovah their God. The oratorio ends with a truce between Rome and the Jewish people. The celebration of that feast is where the music from this hymn occurs. When thinking of this oratorio, the first thing that comes to mind is this imagery of rather a ragtag group of people coming together, empowering themselves through the knowledge of their God, and then tearing down those false altars that were getting in their way. For most in our lives today, our situation has changed. It's very different than it was just a couple of months ago. Our challenges have changed, and our successes also take on different forms. The way we used to troubleshoot temptations and sin must adapt with this new temporary way of life as well. So I ask you this, what are your versions of these altars that are getting in the way of you having a relationship with God? Are you watching too much news? Is there too much alcohol in the house? What are you worshiping that isn't God? Or what draws you away from God? Maybe, just maybe, if you can tear some of those things down, just like the people years ago tore, tore down those altars in this story, you can find more of God, or at the, very at the very least, strengthen that relationship a bit. We both know that although the way we worship together has changed, and perhaps even the ways that we are drawn to sin have changed. Our God has not. God remains steadfast, always there to help and guide us, no matter what form our lives take. It's my sincere hope and prayer to all of you that you indeed hold God in your hearts still and find new ways to worship and exemplify the living God throughout your daily lives. Lastly, the text for this version that we find in our hymnal is originally French. It was written by Edmond Boudry, a French pastor. It first appeared in 1885, A Toi la Gloire, as an Advent hymn, written with this tune in mind. Boudry, the author, later rewrote this, his Advent text to an Easter text, in the translation of which we have today. Verse 1 reads, Thine is the glory, 
risen, conquering sun. Endless is the victory thou or death has won. Angels in bright raiment rolled the stone away, kept the folded grave clothes where thy body lay. Thine is the glory, risen, conquering sun. Endless is the victory thou or death has won. In verse 3, no more we doubt thee, glorious prince of life. Life is not without thee. Aid us in our strife. Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to thy home above. May this third week of Easter bring you peace, assurance, and may God's grace be with you.